Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lily and in today's video I wanted to use new palette the party in Puerto Rico palette by BH cosmetics but I don't even know what I'm wearing Time out. So after my outfit change I Figured I was going for a classic wing liner with a bold red lip so not using that palette in this video. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna keep it simple, classic, and start off with some bronzer in the crease. I love using this bronzer shade on the days where you don't want to wear too much, but just enough. So I'm just taking two lighter shades of brown and starting to put that in the, in the outer corner of my eye. Just blend, 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 blend. Then I'm grabbing like a chocolate brown color just to intensify that outer corner. When I do a liner and that's all I'm doing, this is my go-to little eyeshadow part. <laughs> Then I'm grabbing the lightest shade in the palette and putting that all over the lid. So for the eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Liquid Eyeliner Pen and I really like it it glides on really easily. And then lately I haven't been using mascara to prep the lashes before the false lashes. So I kind of just crimp them with the eyelash filler. They'll mesh better with the falsies. And I'm keeping it pretty natural with these, um, the Ardell Wispy Lashes. They're my favorite and go-to every day. Love them. Just blowing on the glue to help the drying process. Now for the face, I'm going back to my OG foundation, the L'Oreal Paris. And I'm just dotting that all over my face and blending it out with my damp beauty blender. I decided to use two different concealers. Um, they're both the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers, but uh, the one I'm using right now is the one in Toffee. And then I grabbed the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. And when I looked it up today, I found out that it actually was discontinued, which sucks because I really did like this one, but there's tons of contour sticks or contour colors out there. It doesn't have to be this one. <laughs> so I'll find another one. And I used the butt of the beauty blender um, to blend out the contour. I feel like it, it's more of a seamless blend that way. I switched back and forth between using the brush and the beauty blender to blend out the concealer just because they both, I feel like, are good, but together, it's even better. <laughs> and here I am, highlighting 
with the custard concealer. I'm holding the mirror up because I figured if I'm looking up into the mirror, I'd get less creasing under my eye before I set it with the powder. Which of course I used the airspun powder. Then taking that bronzer again, and I'm just going over the parts that I use the contour stick on. This brush from, I believe it's from NYX. Uh, I don't remember when, but I love it for blending. It's amazing. quickly contouring my nose so under the tip along the sides of the bridge of the nose and across the top tip of the nose and it kind of just creates a little button nose in the next clip I was talking to my husband because he was asking me about his outfit and so I gave him some words of advice <laughs> that I really believe in let me know if you agree down below in the comments I don't ever understand reaching. You can't be asking me though. Because <laughs> I'm all about self expression, and if you feel good in it, then boy, girl, whoever, do your thing, boo boo. Because when you feel good in it, it don't matter what it is, it's going to shine through. You know what I mean? Like that outfit I showed you before, the blue one with the jacket, whatever. It's cute. I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't feeling it. <laughs> okay, so that's different. See, this I put on and I was like, yes, comfortable, I like it, feeling it. So if you're not feeling it, that's different. <laughs> I had to keep that in there because it's so true. But anyways, <laughs> back to the makeup. I'm just taking that same bronzer and I'm just getting the bottom lash line. And then grabbing two blushes, one that's more peachy and one that's more rosy. Then for a base for the inner corner, I use the NYX Jumbo Pencil. And then I grab the Moonchild Glow Kit by ABH for that inner corner highlight. Now since all the powders are done, I just grab the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to set the entire face. And I just use my fingers on my lashes underneath and on the top just so that the setting spray doesn't stay on the lashes and weigh them down. The lips took me so long. Um, anyone who's used red lipstick knows that you gotta be super careful. Um, so I used 
two different shades of red, um, a darker red for the outline, and I kind of colored in the entire lip with that color. Uh, and then I took the lighter shade for the inner part of the lip. But I also used a pinky lipstick because um, my lips were super dry and I needed a little bit of moisture um, just to help glide, you know, the lip liners and stuff. And I really like the way it came out. It's like a nice gradient effect. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It was simple but classic and I feel like this is good for any occasion. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Please share, like, comment, all the stuff. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks guys. Bye.